Today we're going to build a tournament quality portable live well. Now, here we got all the pieces that we're going to need for our live well today. We've got an 800 gallon per hour bilge pump. Uh, it's going to sit down in the bottom. We've got the kit to hook it up. We've got piping. Uh, to run the tubes, all the hardware. Uh, now this, I actually got this cooler for really cheap, ten bucks, off of marketplace. It is missing the drain plug, however. So what I did, because for some reason it's near impossible to find this stuff in stores, I got a regular uh, drain plug to put in there, and that'll seal that up. It doesn't take much pressure, uh, don't hold back, so these will work perfect. So with this design, what I'm going to do is have the bilge pump down here, be mounted to the side, have the tube that comes up like so, right here, and I'll have a tube coming across, and then two coming down the sides that'll have the holes in it for the sprayers. And that will leave this, or I can keep this closed, put the fish right in here, uh, completely unobstructed, where I can put them in. So the tools you'll want for this project include PVC pipe cutters, a Phillips head screwdriver to put the screws in. You'll want to do it by hand, pre-drilling into this thin plastic, and usually ends up putting too big a hole. And possibly cracking the plastic. You also want PVC pipe adhesive sealant to put the pipes together. And you'll also want some marine adhesive to help seal the holes around the screws, keep the water from getting into the foam. If you're liking this video so far make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for future updates as well and there we go nicely placed in there that wipe down a little bit and we'll go ahead and start putting the pipes together now with pipe primer for the PVC pre uh, adhesive you want to make sure you have something to work on because uh, this stuff gets very messy and you do not want to get it all over everything I got, I'm here working here in the boat so I don't want to get it on my carpet and stuff so I've got this cardboard down as my work surface and we're going to start putting these pipes together.
Next, we're gonna go ahead and secure our bilge pump in. I'm gonna put in two screws, one here and one over here, and that'll just hold it in place and keep it from tilting around. Now I got the bilge pump in place. I got the screws secured with some marine adhesive so it doesn't uh, get into the foam behind the plastic. So this is all set up. And then I also have the wires run through two openings, which I also have sealed off with marine adhesive, both on the inside and outside. And this way the wires can come out and keep the lid completely closed. They're not in the way. Uh, and then I'll also have a nice tape measure on the outside of it, be able to measure my fish as I get ready to put them in the live well. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and place this in and we're gonna go ahead and get it secured with these brackets right here. I'm gonna use four of them to hold the, the long lines on on the sides and that'll keep the whole thing in place. Uh, I'm also gonna use the marine adhesive just like I did with the bilge pump to uh, keep water from getting in around the screws. So all the screws will be covered with this as I put them in by hand with the screwdriver. So here we are all secured in. Uh, also make sure you're using stainless steel hardware and plastic. Don't use brass, don't use zinc. This stuff will corrode and rust and end up destroying itself. But I got all my holes here up across the bottom on both sides. So it sprays straight down. Uh, now I'm gonna be hooking up the tube off the bilge pump, have it come up and around, and it's gonna connect up to this tube to set up the sprayers. Now, something I'm doing with mine, I cut my tube because I only need this much. With my setup, I do have a drain on mine. Uh, but you can also uh, leave the whole hose in here and have it set up where you can uh, connect and disconnect and actually use it as a pump out. So you don't necessarily have to have a drain or uh, if it's in the boat and you just want to get the water out of the boat, you can do it that way or for recirculation as well. Uh, and then just pour more water in. All right, so we have the hose all hooked up. This is all ready to go. Uh, also, these clamps are stainless steel. They came with the bilge pump hose kit. So I don't have to worry about those corroding on me. But she is all set to go. I'm gonna let everything sit, dry, make sure the adhesive gets nice and uh, cured, and then we'll take her out fish and test her out so after going to the lake caught quite a few fish they've been in here for hours even on the trip home I just shut off the pump and they are still kicking and flopping around So that's all there is to it on a portable live well. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, and until next project, I'll see you around.